All right, with Valentine's Day coming up, we thought we would do a series of videos all about love and dating and relationships. So this is our first one for all you singles out there and we are chatting dating tips. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us and happy Valentine's Day, sort of leading up to it. We're getting there soon, but we're early because there's lots to cover in this series. I'm Steph. I'm Katie. Little Theo is here, if you can see him. He's here. Do Moral you support. To say hi. <laughs> but yes, welcome or welcome back. Um, if you've been here before, you'll notice that we're not at home. We're actually on a cute little staycation, yeah. which we'll be sharing with you soon. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So today we are chatting all about dating and while neither of us have dated in quite a while now. Um, I mean, I hope so anyway. No, we haven't, <laughs> we haven't been dating. It's been a long time. We've been dating each other, but that's it. Yes. Does that count? Maybe not. In not really. <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to chat all about dating. Um, it's been a really long time since we've dated, but I feel like we know what's up and we wanted to chat about like queer dating especially. Um, yeah, I don't have a ton of experience, especially with queer dating. I married my first ever girlfriend, so didn't date any other people. But that gives like that. you a 100% average, so... That's true. I have a good pretty, track record. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's pretty true. successful right there. Yeah, and you've dated a little bit more than me, so you probably have a, have a bit more insight. A little bit. So we wanted to chat all about dating and specifically like how to meet people, how to you know find that special someone if that's what you're looking for. So we are diving into our four major tips for dating. So why don't you kick us off? Okay, so step number one is determining what you are looking for. Um, in the dating world, there are a lot of people out there looking for a lot of different things. So identifying what you kind of are looking for in terms of dating will really help a just you to clarify what you want and b to kind of help guide you to the right people yeah i think that's so important and it can be tricky too like to figure out what your intention actually is what are you looking for are you looking for casual dating some hookups you just want to have fun or you know are you looking to like seriously date get into a relationship are you looking for a long-term relationship do you want to get married like figuring out what that is so you know what your intention is going into dating like going into the dating world i think that'll really like help with your success is just knowing what you're looking for because there are so many different things that you can be looking for whether yeah it's serious or casual whether it's like monogamous or non-monogamous all these different things so i think before you even dive into anything it's figuring out exactly what you're looking for yeah i mean because that's basically the kicking off point for how you might look for someone too yeah which leads us into our next tip, which is taking action. So that is going out, meeting people, getting on apps, yeah. putting yourself out there. So when you determine what you want, then that might lead you in a certain direction of how you might go about finding someone. Yeah, I think this part is probably the most important because it can be really easy to kind of be passive and be like, yeah, I want a relationship or, you know, I'm open to dating, but like not actively get out and like seek it out and look for meeting people and like, you know, yeah, get out there and put yourself out there, like you said. So I really think that dating is like an active, you know, you have to actively participate um, and you have to, yeah, put yourself out there, which can be a little scary and a little nerve wracking. But if you're serious about meeting people, if you want to, you know, meet your special someone or your future partner or anything like that, yeah, you have to put yourself out there. And there are so many ways to meet people now, whether that's like in person or online. The most obvious one would be to get on dating apps. It can be a nice entry point into putting yourself out there without, you know, physically going to places and going up to people and talking to people and meeting yeah. people. Um, it also will kind of lay out what people are looking for. So in step one, we've determined, you know, what you're looking for. So in taking action and going on the apps, you can basically lay out if you're looking for something casual or if you're looking for something more long-term monogamous. It can all be there for someone to see and vice versa, somebody else for what they're looking for. It's all laid out for you. So there are just fewer questions right off the bat. Totally. I think the apps are great. Having never done it myself, I True. say that. <laughs> Neither <laughs> but of we us. have a lot of friends with success stories. Yes, and definitely. A lot of friends have talked about how much easier it is to put themselves out there initially totally. when they're doing it online. Yeah. And especially for queer dating, I think it's 
Yeah, it's such a great tool. Like, I wish we'd had that back then. I think we both would have saved a lot of time. I mean, I love how we met. I love that we met in person. <laughs> but we but did we, spend months trying to figure out even yeah. if, like, we were both queer. So. Yeah, we would have saved a lot of time had we just, like, met on an app and known what the deal was yeah. and what our intentions were and everything like that. So I do think it really, like, cuts a lot of the bullshit and it just kind of, like, takes you, you know, those couple steps ahead, like, right off the bat. And, yeah, we know so many people who have met online, so many queer couples who have met yeah. online. I think it is a great way to go. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but if you are willing, I think getting on the apps is key. And, yeah, it's all just part of, like, putting yourself out there. If apps are not your thing, then absolutely there are ways of meeting people in person. We yeah. can attest to that for sure. Yeah. Um, and one of the ways that you know, I would recommend is, which is exactly what I did and how we met is to go out and do an activity to, you know, get involved in whether it's a sport or something in the arts or whatever your interest yeah. is, join a group, you know, it's great for meeting new friends, but it's also great for potentially meeting a new partner. Totally. I think that's such a nice way of doing it because then you start with like a shared interest and yeah. like you know you have something in common already and yeah that's exactly how we met we met at a dance studio and then that was like a shared interest of ours which was so nice and I think that's such a great way of like you said even just getting out and meeting friends just like meeting people maybe the friend can introduce you to someone to date yeah. or maybe you meet someone to date like it's just such a great way of sort of getting out of your comfort zone and meeting people in general yeah, and getting out of your own circles too yeah yeah, like you said, meeting, you know, friends of friends is a huge way to meet people. Totally. And sometimes just being around new people can just kind of open up your world a little bit. Yeah, it's just all about making these new connections. So if you're not sure where to start, just think about the things that you enjoy doing. Like, what do you like doing or what would you be interested in? Maybe picking up a new hobby or like you said, joining a group, joining a club. Um, there are so many ways. There are so many ways to meet people. And I think that that's a great way of doing it, especially if you don't want to get online, which is totally valid. Not everyone is into online dating, um, but you need to get out there in some way, you know? Yeah. So step number three, once you've gotten out there, you're out there, you're dating, I think it's super important to make sure that you are communicating what it is you want with any potential partners and just like being super honest and upfront with the people you're meeting and the people yeah. you're starting to date. Yeah, again, so back to step number one, determining what you want is particularly important when you are trying to communicate what you want to other people. Yeah. Because if you are looking for something that's a little bit more on the casual side, you know, it is really important to be upfront, uh, you know, with other people about that because that can, you know, take away a lot of the confusion and a lot yeah. of maybe heartbreak. Um, yeah. And vice versa, if you're looking for something more long term, then again, it's important to kind of communicate that because you want to be kind of on the same page as as a person that you're dating. Totally. And that's why it's so important to figure that out before you even start is to know exactly what you're capable of, like where you're at, you know, maybe you've gotten out of a relationship or it's your first time dating or your first time like queer dating or something like that. So really like getting honest with yourself about what you feel ready for and then being honest with the people you're meeting. I think right off the bat about what you're ready for is so important. Yeah. That's something that we did and I think that was a really important step for us. Like we mm -hmm. communicated right from the start. Um, and also like as those feelings changed, we communicated that as well because I was really kind of scared in the beginning and it was my first time like dating a woman and I didn't know if I could and I was really afraid and I told you that and then you know as things kind of started up I remember communicating that you know it felt really easy and yeah. not scary and I felt ready to move forward and I think we both you know talked about feeling like we knew it could go somewhere and like we knew it had the potential to get serious and we yeah. were feeling comfortable with that well that's the thing too you know sometimes what you set out to do might change and yeah. you might meet someone and think that oh i'm just looking for something that's more casual and then yeah. you meet someone and, you and fall yeah you fall in love <laughs> or you realize that this is a person that you could you know spend more time with and have more of a long-term relationship with yeah. so it's important to kind of keep you know, have that self-awareness and, and keep checking in with yourself, but then also communicating that to the people that you're dating. Yeah, I think that's so, so important. Yeah. So step number four, our last step is be brave and take risks. It's important to put yourself out there and go for it and don't be afraid to see where things go. Yeah, I think this is such a big part of it. Dating is obviously like vulnerable and scary and it can be tough, especially if you've had your heart broken before. And yeah, I think, you know, greater risk is greater reward and like you have to be willing to do the scary thing if you want to succeed in dating and if you want to meet people and have relationships and I think you know if either of us had been too scared like we would never 
have this amazing 12 year long relationship like if I'd been too scared to come out or to try dating women or you know if you've been too scared to like pursue me or anything like that like none of this would have happened and that's so crazy to think about yeah it's true you could be missing out on some amazing things if you play it safe so yeah you know you might get hurt you might get your heart broken but the alternative is just missing out on all sorts of experiences i'm going to use a sports analogy here because <laughs> that's what i love to do Steph and to use you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take so that's very true. go for it and yeah. see what happens yeah no i think that is the best advice with dating is you do just have to go for it and that's what we keep telling all of our single friends right now is to yeah. just yeah dive in and be brave and take the risk even if it's scary because you never know what could be on the other side it could be something really really incredible and you'll never know unless you try it's true so hopefully this advice helped you out a little bit if you are single and looking to date and looking to meet people i think coming up on valentine's day you know love is in the air and it's like such a big theme right now and i think a lot of people are yeah thinking about love and dating and relationships and so if you are someone who wants to meet people hopefully this helps you yeah and if you have any other tips or any other advice um please leave those in the comments below and Let's see if we can get this list compiled a little yeah. a little more too. These are our you know best tips, um, but I'm sure there's lots of other advice out there, so we'd love to hear it. Yeah, we'd love to hear yours too. And if you have any fun dating stories, we'd love to hear those also. Yeah, totally. We love to live vicariously through our friends who are dating because it's just, yeah, not something we'll hopefully ever have to do again. <laughs> We're old and married, but yeah, it is fun to hear everyone's stories. So leave those in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching and we'll see you soon. We'll have a couple other Valentine's Day videos coming and we'll also show you this cute little staycation that yeah. we're on so stay tuned for that yeah see you next time bye <laughs>